This video is brought to you by UEI Test Instruments. Essential Instruments, Outstanding Service. What's going on everybody? We are going look, uh, I've already been here once today, and uh, it was this morning. Brand spanking new double wide. I mean, they literally just moved in like a week ago. So everything's new, brand new cadets or brand new air handler from the factory. And then they put a coil, a mobile home coil. And when I got there, they called me and said it wasn't cooling. And the mobile home people's AC guy couldn't get, couldn't get to them. They didn't know when. So they told these people to call their own AC guy and send them the receipt and they would reimburse them. So I get out there this morning and the unit is frozen solid. So I told them that more than likely this other company left a leaking solder joint. I'd be back later today after it thawed out. I had other calls to go catch. Came, uh, went and caught my other calls and now I'm headed back over there and we are going to, and so it's got, it's got refrigerant in it. So I'm gonna run a combination of the electronic leak detector and some big blue soap bubbles and see where they left the leak at. Now, it does have an expansion valve on the coil and it's a bolt-on. I don't know if that was factory installed or field installed, but we're gonna check it first. And if that doesn't hit off, we're gonna check the company solder joints and go from there. So I'll see if I can get some film on it for you guys. Okay, we were just inside at the evaporator. We didn't see no leaks. But this, I, I think I see some oil right here. That's, that's not just from the, from the ice. That looks kind of shiny to me. Yep. Yeah, there's definitely a leak right there. There we go. Yep, there's a leak. You can see the big, the big blue growing. Big blue doing what it does best. left a leak and solder joint. All righty, let me let the customer know that I have found the leak. You can see the bubbles right here. I'm gonna spray some more bubbles. There's your leak. All right, our leak repair is successful. We put a good bead. Really, all I had to do was roll the solder that he didn't roll, but I went ahead and put a, a little bit on there with a stick. 
I've got to get me a new Appian hose and a and use a micron gauge down there. I like I like doing the one hose Appian through the suction line, and uh, I may get the True Blue. I don't know yet. We'll see. You guys can leave your comments down below, but I know a lot of people say the the Appian's just as good and it's cheaper. This is a really new Nordine. They have a QR code where it says charge me and it says attention units now feature a higher factory charge so i don't have a qr reader on my phone i'm downloading one right now and i'm going to scan that thing and see what it says and uh, i'm filming on my phone so i won't be able to show it to y'all but i'll try to take some screenshots or something that's a hell of a model number That is a ridiculous model number. But uh, I believe we have a successful repair. And they should, these people have their air. This mobile home is four days old. So, I mean, you can tell, you can see the dirt. I mean, they just, I mean, you see our porch. They just put this thing here. So we're gonna let this vacuum pool. And uh, I didn't f see no signs of a leak anywhere else. Guys, we're up and running. That QR code turned out to be some bullshit. Basically, all it tells you is the same thing that the data plate tells you. 99 ounces of 410A. Uh, there's some other shit you can do on there where you enter your zip code and you enter your model number, your suction line size, liquid line size, the length. Is it a microchannel condenser? Is it a microchannel evaporator or a copper evaporator? Blah, blah, blah. So, but basically all it does is tell you the same thing that this tells you. The factory charge is 99 ounces of 410A, which is exactly what I put in it. Comes out to be about 6.1 pounds. That's exactly what I put in it. And we're looking pretty damn good. We're running an expansion valve inside. So I'm looking for about 10 degrees of subcooling and we're at 9.6, 9.5. It's bouncing around. It's only been running for maybe about three minutes. I'm gonna sit here with it for about another 10. If the charge stays right there, I'm gonna call it good. But our leak repair is successful. And these nice people in their four day old home have air conditioning. And, and my problem is, is that anybody can make a mistake, guys, okay? I'm not trying to brag. Anybody can make a mistake, but that's a pretty big mistake to make right there. That's why I like to pressure test with nitrogen. Nitrogen, you would have heard that whistling. You would have heard that whistling right away. And I don't think the guy pulled a vacuum because they would have never pulled down into microns. So I got rid of all the refrigerant and start and vacuumed the whole system. I vacuumed the condenser, the line set in the evaporator and we put virgin 410a uh so i wasn't taking any chances and yeah as you can see we don't have any non-condensables our pressures look good i was not going to take a chance with that so we're going to sit with it another 10 minutes if that while i clean up my stuff if that charge stays in that area you see the expansion valves playing a little bit back up to nine i'll leave it alone all righty we're pulling away from this house She's happy. Uh, she she actually bought her house from a really good mobile home uh, pl uh, place. They she's already called him. They said, "Yep, tell him." Uh, you know, I do all my invoices through email. She said, "As soon as you get an invoice from him, email it to us, and we'll gladly reimburse you." So they're gonna. She's gonna send them a copy of my invoice. And I actually took a little video for her of the bubbles. She sent the video to the guy at the mobile home place. He said, hey, you know, it happens. So he is, uh, he said he's going to cut her a check for what I charged her. So, you know, that's good. Good for her. I'm glad, you know, you hear so many horror stories about these mobile home dealers that they don't take care of people. And for the most part, it's true, but. I'm glad to see that this place is actually going to reimburse her. Um, you know, it's not her fault. It's aggravating. You know, they've been in the house for four days and they just installed the unit four days ago. And the guy couldn't come back. She told me because he's in New Orleans and you know, we're about two and a half hours away from New Orleans. 
So he said he, he didn't know when he could come. So, you know, it, it, shit happens. But for the guy in New Orleans, I'll say it again. I'm not dogging the guy, but that's that could have been that could have been avoided with a nitrogen pressure test after soldering, which I know he didn't do because that would have whistled. And I'm not saying he didn't pull a vacuum. Chances are he didn't. Um, he may have purged. Because even if he's pulling a vacuum with analog gauges, you know, the analog gauge sucks down to the negative, in the negative, you know, goes all the way down to negative 30 or negative 29, whatever you want to call it. When he would have closed that manifold off, that needle would have moved. It would have moved off a of negative 30 with that leak. So chances are, well, I know for a fact he didn't do nitrogen because he would have heard it. And uh, I, I really don't think the guy pulled a vacuum. If he did pull a vacuum, he did it with analog gauges and he did, you know, a, two cigarettes and a cup of coffee vacuum and shut the manifold off without even paying attention to the needle and open the valves right away. So now I couldn't, I couldn't hear the leak. Now, of course, the system didn't have a full charge. I would have think he would have been able to hear it when he cracked the valves open. But again, we can sit here and debate that all day long. It is what it is. Um, but the job is done now. So she's happy. Um, I'm happy. And another successful repair. So thanks you, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. And we'll see y'all on the next one.